One of the reasons that I have to talk about death and need to talk about death is I nearly died two years ago. It was quite a dramatic period of time. I started throwing up like 20 times a day. My blood sugar level was through the floor. My blood pressure was dropping. And I remember holding this doctor's elbow going, please don't let me die. Because I could see we were suddenly moving through to recess. And when you move to recess, you know things are getting bad. And so I ended up in intensive care and they're saying, look, your heart function is at 10% and it's dropping. And they're saying, you need to call your parents to just say goodbye, basically. And I've got all these pipes in me. I've spoken to my parents and I'm seeing these moments, like snapshots of like film. So clearly I was, I'm hallucinating now and I'm getting close and my heart rate's dropping. And I sort of basically go, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get ready to go. Once I'd relinquished myself to this is the end, it felt very calm and very soft and quiet. And there was this peacefulness that I was like, this is fine. And what was really interesting for me is I'd spent all my life from a child worrying about, well, what's the end gonna be like? Why are we here? Why do we exist? What's this about? And I'm finally confronted with the moment where I'm like, this is the end, like this is the end of this. And so the evening comes and I still haven't died. And I'm laying there and I go, do you know what? I, I can't go yet. This isn't enough for me. I need to fall in love again. I need to go to Hawaii and my career isn't over. I've got more books to write. I've got more things to find out about the world. And only two months beforehand, I'd qualified as a yoga teacher and really focused on breathing techniques. And I was really into reading about them. And so I suddenly have this like moment where I'm like, I'm gonna do yoga breathing. I'm gonna breathe my way through this. And I breathe and I breathe and I breathe, and I kept doing all these techniques, and there's all different ones. And then before I knew it, it was morning the next day. And the nurses arrived that were on the shift that left the night before, and went, oh, you're still here with us. You're not intubated. So I hadn't been like, had a pipe put down my throat, and I was still there. And I'd basically breathed my way still here. And this is how it went over the next few days where I just kept doing my breathing techniques. And over the next sort of week, I slowly got better. I spent a week in intensive care. It's left me with a long-term heart condition. I have heart failure, I have an arrhythmia, and I have left ventricular dysfunction. So it all doesn't beat properly. I take tablets every day. It was still touch and go whether I'd make it another year or how long I was going to exist. Here I am two years later, semi-fighting fit, strapping and strong, trying my hardest. 